let's go ahead and create our last component company details this component displays the company name and the description here and it also has a background color which changes based on the company that we select in the list on the top For now we will give it a grey background and we will make the background color dynamic once we wire all these components later on. Alright. So let's create the component. let's display the company name first and then the description H2 maybe okay and then go to company management Add company details here. Import it. Save it. Oops, this seems to be an error. Mm. Error in company details. Terminated JSX. Oops, yeah, there's no closing tag here. Save it. Yeah, now it's fine. Refresh. Great. Company details component is being displayed now, but we want this component to be displayed here below the list so let's go and fix that first off let's create a inline background color which would be dynamic later on let's give it gray color let's also give it a style a class called company details style let's define this in CSS go ahead and give those values There's some padding margin height and width okay save it save company details as well make sure there are no errors refresh yeah seems a little better off but still we have alignment issues I guess we need to wrap the company's list within a row of bootstrap so let's do that go to companies list and give it a class name row which is a bootstrap class refresh right this seems fine now okay so now our UI is ready so let's wire all these up let's do that in the next one Stay tuned and subscribe. Cheers.